Welcome to our global self-awakening workshop. I'm Zarathustra and broadcasting live from Los Angeles. This is our day four. I'm very excited we're together. It feels really good. I was really excited this morning. Um, it made me, I was thinking how much I love uh, giving satsangs and sharing with my brother sisters from all over the world um, this wisdom and knowledge that was transferred to me by my teachers. And uh, that was a big part of doing this originally that it's coming from gratitude of my teachers, they transferred the wisdom to me uh, through the grace of God. They found me worthy enough to bring me in and give me a transmission of this information. And this information settled uh, in me in a cellular level and of course, it's a, plant, it's a seed that you're planting and the seed needs to be cultivated and it keeps growing. It took a number of years before it really settled and it grew to the point that it started to fruit and bring me to this understanding and this level of consciousness to recognize the nature of existence. However, basically, um, what ultimately made me realize that the more I understood of the nature of the infinite, the, the source, Her Majesty, the Supreme Being, the more I went deeper into it, the more I realized I don't know anything. And it was every time, every moment in this self-realization process, I thought I know, or I got to a point that I told myself, oh, I figured this out. Or I made a proclamation to a friend that I got it, or I know what Hyde works. Guess what happened? They pulled the rug from underneath my feet and I went like, wow, you know, off balance. Making me realize that I really don't know anything. And it was very humbling. It was perfect. Because how could you know the infinite, infinite, infinity? With your mind, with your thinking mind, how would you ever know the infinite. It's basically impossible. Infinite. Think about it. Infinite. Infinity. It keeps going, 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 going from every direction. It expands from every direction. Simultaneously, it's happening. It's beyond human mind's comprehension. We only get to understand a small portion of it, very, very tiny, itty bitty, small portion of it. That's all. That's all we get to know. That's all we get to experience. A very, very tiny portion of the infinite in a very, very short period of time that you live. And the period of time you live, let's say, even if you make it to 100 years old, you still don't know anything. You're still an egg. You still don't know anything. You do experience, you live 100 years, and there's a lot of things that you experience, but in the span of the eternity, 100 millions of years or eternal, it's nothing. The period of time you were on this earth and you experienced 
whatever you did in whatever era of time, it's like a blink of eye, you know, right now, look at this. I blink my eyes. Now I'm going to do it slow motion. How many times you blink your eyes during the day? Have you ever counted? Do you count the number of times you blink your eye, your eyes? Now imagine that your existence on this planet is just a blink of, blink of eye. That's all it is. Everything you've experienced, imagine how much you've experienced, what you've gone through, how much information you received, how much wisdom you acquired. All of it is like a blink of eye. And in a way, it never happened. It never happened. And I'm going to get into that. I'm going to explain to you more in details what it means that none of this has ever happened. It simply does not happen. that we get so excited about it, we're willing to go to war and kill and defend, and we carry our prejudices and everything for something that doesn't even happen. Or if it happened, it happened in a blink of an eye, and then it just got lost into the eternity. We call it the history. It's very fascinating. It's mind-blowing it's so expanding yet it's very real in the moment when it's happening yet it is a re relative reality in comparison to the absolute reality so it's very interesting in many ways because it is an enigma it's very complex yet it's very simple It's right here in front of your eyes, and you are a part of it, yet it seemed like impossible to catch it. So it's got all these different aspects of itself simultaneously happening in this very moment. Yet the understanding can be very simple. It could be very simple. Yet, in the meantime, if you're trying to understand it with your thinking mind, it's very complex and it's almost impossible. So I decided to create a system of teaching that to keep this both verbally and practically as simple as possible. And in that, I derive teachings from all of my teachers, whether they were teaching non-duality or not, whether they were healers, shamans, uh, religious people, Sufi, Sufism and Buddhism, if they were really uh, coming from a very stiff kind of a tradition or loose, I, I felt like pulling and deriving different techniques and teacher teachings from all these different traditions that I got exposed to and to bring its essence in and make it super simple and see if I can create a situation that I can transmit this to my audience in a very simple way. 